But um, it's a great story. I love it. Um, as time drew closer to the event, um, we were getting really excited, and uh, you know, I had never been uh, out of I'd been out of state on vacation, but I think this was the first time. I mean, this was the first time I'd been to Chicago. Um, so I learned how to fly, uh, and I, I flew flew the plane to flew my dad and and his girlfriend at the time. Uh, flew them to Chicago. Here's a picture of that. And we landed, and we met the authors, and we hung out. And before you know it, it was time to get ready for the for the event. Um, so here are some pictures for the event. Um, this is kind of what we did. We set up the, the wizard's chest there. And uh, before that, actually, that's you went behind the scenes. The night before that, we were actually uh, we had to spray paint the, um, the hats that they wore because we designed the wizard's chessmen to have hats so that they would know which pieces they were. And um, it was kind of kind of interesting, a, a foray into arts and crafts, uh, that sort of thing. But here's a picture of the hat. So then the event started, and I, I, I had never really done anything like public speaking before, um, but I was really kind of uh, a natural. Um, judge for yourself. Here's the video. So what had happened was we had to ask for signups for Wizards Chess. If you wanted to play Wizards Chess, you know, email us. We'll put you on the list. And we had some empty space because there's actually like 32 players in chess. So yeah, we had some empty space. But uh, that is why we started polling the fans. So we did the wizard's chess, and uh, it was basically it was a lot of fun. Here's some more footage of, of just random walking around. And then uh, I actually did meet Robbie, who, who recorded the video. I, I believe I was in contact with him before, and I definitely was afterwards. But I have this habit of showing up in other people's video, and I kind of make a weird face when I do. Uh, so here's, uh, here's me showing up uh, while Robbie is recording. And of course, here's footage again by Robbie Kalinske uh, of the countdown to Book 5, to Harry Potter Book 5.
up there and make it good way All right. Okay. And finally, once Robbie got home, he took a nice video of how the books look. Wow. Seven years ago today, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The longest, still the longest, Harry Potter book. The morning after we did some rounds, actually, it turns out the authors were booked at a Borders and a Barnes and Noble uh, in, the, in the area. I don't know exactly where they were. Um, but I went with them uh, to help promote their book. You know, we basically answered fan questions, that kind of thing. Um, but we were also reading the book. Uh, so I, I, I don't know where they got this, this dress-up thing. I, I have like a wizard robe in this photo. Uh, take a look. This is me reading Order of the Phoenix for the first time. Yeah, again, that weird look on my face. I don't know. But um, anyway, the event at the borders in the Barnes and Noble, here's a better picture of uh, the authors of Ast Galadro Waters and Astre Muthrander. And so that was a lot of fun. So um, basically that's, that concludes um, all the footage I have so far. I mean, I, it's, I probably have more, but this weblog is already going to be really long. Um, so basically I just wanted to say, hey, June 20th. You didn't go unnoticed in my book. I noticed you, and I remembered that seven years ago on the same day, uh, I had a lot of fun here in Chicago, where I now live. I now live in Chicago. So Now today also happens to be Father's Day, uh, so here is a picture of my dad on that day. Um, that's about it, and uh, hopefully I will be broadcasting soon on Spieler TV. See you next time.